Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Let's talk Holy Cross Baseball. Joining us is head coach Sandy Medichetti. Well, Sandy, let's talk about your team this year. Uh, you come back with uh, you know, a, a, a year last year where you guys got some experience and uh, a real fine season so far in 2014. Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's the biggest thing so far uh, to this point this year is uh, how much more experience we have this year than last year. Uh, some some guys who were freshmen and sophomores playing last year and, uh, you know, getting that year experience. We, we went through some hard times last year, but uh, we've really straightened things out for this year so far. Well, Coach, let's start out with the pitchers this year. Uh, do you have one dominant pitcher or do you have a few guys that you can rely on this year for Holy Cross? Um, actually, we have a few guys this year. Um, you know, in high school baseball, more or less you use two guys. Uh, if you have two real good pitchers, uh, you know, depending on the weather around here, um, and like this year, we've, we've needed more than two, uh, but we've been using uh, R.J. Boyle, who's a sophomore, who's been fantastic so far. He has uh, like a .93 ERA so far this year uh, in three games. And then uh, James Wetter, um, who's been solid for the last three years, who's having another good year so far. Um, junior Jeremy Zeke, uh, pitched the other day, pitched a great game in the in terrible weather. And then uh, Connor Jones, um, you know, he pitched against Carbondale the other day and had, uh, I believe it was a four-hitter with 11 strikeouts. So we, we really have, like, four guys that we can really go uh, throw out there and start, start in it at any time. Well, you talk about guys that are getting the job done. You, you mentioned uh, your freshman, uh, uh, I'm sorry, your your sophomore, R.J. Boyle, who started 14 games uh, as a freshman. Uh, that's always some great experience, and he plays shortstop, but it's great to get him on the mound as one of those guys you can count on as well, as you mentioned. Yeah, R.J.'s been, uh, you know, seeing him as a freshman last year, uh, he was so impressive in our um, our preseason and, you know, leading up from March until the beginning of the season. And we knew right away that he was going to get a spot somewhere. And he just worked so hard in the off season with strength and conditioning, and he's even that much better this year. You talked about Connor Jones as well, a young man who really improved on the basketball court this year, took a leadership role uh, with Holy Cross. And you mentioned that game that he had the other day. Uh, how's he doing baseball-wise? I know he's coming off that injury in the basketball season. Uh, Connor's been great. Um, and, and talking to Connor, you know, I, I think he wishes that uh, he was able to spend a little bit more time with baseball, uh, but he had such a successful basketball career that it was great for him. Um, but he, he's he been really great. You know, he, he, he doesn't get in all the time because of, of how, you know, he's a little bit behind as far as arm strength and, and playing in the field. Uh, but any time that he has to step up to pitch, uh, for the last two years, he's, he's been fantastic. Well, it's he nice. has a, a great work ethic, and he, he's just a great kid. Yeah, nice having a big body like Connor Jones that you can pull in and say, all right, kid, throw the ball for us. Uh, Coach, let's talk about your infield. Tell us about a couple of guys that are uh, standing out so far for the Crusaders. Um, you know, as, as the coaches talked about early, you know, coming into this season, you know, we, we knew we had a couple holes to fill, and one of them uh, was third base. Um, and and uh, we had uh, Gannon Palmeter come in uh, as a transfer this year, and he has been not only great defensively, but I think as of right now he's leading the league in hitting. So it's it's been such an upgrade uh, and, a, and a great pickup uh, at their base for us. And then, Coach, uh, how about uh, w- when we head to the outfield? Tell us about some of the outfielders who are playing some good baseball. Uh, Alex Demian, who is now a, a three-year starter, uh, he's really stepped it up. Um, it seems like every year we throw some some infielders in the outfield, and uh, usually our center fielders are our leader out there. And he's taken that role this year of you know really taking charge of the outfield, making sure the younger guys uh, he controls them and takes charge. Um, he, he's just he's another quiet kid, but a great leader. And coach behind the plate, a four year starter is always great to have coming back. Is Usually those are your tough kids are, are mentally pretty strong as well to, to handle all the duties and everything you throw at them. Yeah, and that, that was another hole that we thought we would have this year, and Andrew Meese has really been our, our superman of the, of, the, of the team this year. Uh, he's come in 
and for never catching in high school, uh, he stepped up and he said, Coach, you know what, we need a catcher. Uh, I can do it for you. And we have been totally, totally surprised by not only how impressive he is in defensively, uh, blocking balls and calling pitches, uh, but he seems to be always on the same page, comes over to me during innings and says, Coach, you know, I see this, I see this with this hitter. And for a first-year catcher, it's, it's really impressive. Coach, you mentioned his versatility and starting all those years, but the first year uh, behind the plate. Tell us about some of the other positions. If you had to put him somewhere he could play, it's, it's great to have a utility guy like that. Yeah, Andrew has played all over from left field to third base. Uh, he he started a bunch of games at shortstop last year. He's played second base. Uh, I, I've had him on the mound where he's had some success. Uh, he's he's probably been my vo- most uh, versatile player that I've had in the in the last bunch of years. Coach, when you talk about the Lackawanna League right now, you guys are doing outstanding. First, talk about the challenges that lie ahead for you guys over the next several weeks. Yeah, the, the league has been tough uh, up until now. We, we've we've had some good games and we've come out on top. We have a really tough week this week. Um, we have Old Forge visiting us tomorrow. Uh, we play Mid Valley on Thursday, and then another league leader in uh, Dunmore next Monday. Uh, three real tough games in the middle of the schedule. Uh, should be should be real intense, uh, well played games for us. And then, uh, of course, when we get to the District Two Double A playoffs, uh, it's always going to be a battle. But boy, you mentioned those three games this week. It's hard to ever look ahead. But uh, Hanover area has got to be one of the teams in District 2 that, that people are talking about. I'm sure Lackawanna League, though, will have something to say about that, including yourselves. Yes, definitely. You know, it's, it, it is kind of early. You know, it's midway point. Um, but I have to admit, I, I, I sneak uh, at, the, at the standings in the Wyoming Valley Conference, and I see, you know, them in Nanticoke. Uh, they, they battle it out, and I know there's some good teams down there. And Hanover, in the last couple of years, has had our number. Uh, we went down there as a lower seed and giving them some good games and having come out on top. Uh, so we're we're checking the schedule and you know, like you said, it's it's hard to look ahead, uh, but it's definitely on the radar. Coach, going to uh, the future, you mentioned uh, last year, guys got some great experience. Some freshmen and some sophomores had experience, and you get another year older. You do have a handful of seniors that uh, you're leaning on, but uh, you're still pretty youthful overall. It looks like the you know the future is bright there at Holy Cross. Yes, definitely, um, and and like I said, the seniors that we are losing are, you know, very valuable uh, guys, and they're they're, they're great leaders. Um, but the sophomore class, we're very rich in our sophomore class of baseball players, and our pitching is is youthful also. So, looking ahead even further to next year, it's, you know, it's pretty exciting to to look at the uh, at the roster and see how young we are, and, and see how many how many years we can be good for. Well, R.J. Boyle leading the pitchers with a .93 ERA as a sophomore, and they got some other big guns as well. Uh, Connor Jones had a great game recently. So uh, Holy Cross getting it done with some pitching and some some good hitting and, of course, uh, some underclassmen stepping up and some leadership, as he mentioned, uh, Coach Sandy Manichetti here. Thank you so much, Coach. We wish you well, and best of luck with a challenging week. Thank you, John. Thanks for having me. Holy Cross Crusaders baseball here on the John Mandola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.